They have the same one. At least 30 neo-Nazis were detained by police at a Pride event this past weekend. But are they getting off with a slap on the wrist? Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm legal analyst Adrian Lawrence. On Saturday, police intercepted a U-Haul full of masked neo-Nazi white supremacists heading toward a Pride event in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. That's a town just east of the Washington state border in the northern Idaho area. Now, these 31 members of the Patriot Front came from all over the country in hopes of creating chaos during the LGBT event, hailing from states as far as Virginia. Several of the men came from Texas, Utah, South Dakota, Arkansas, and Oregon. And as you saw in the opening video, the members of the group were all wearing their trademark face coverings, khakis, and blue shirts, while kneeling with their hands tied behind their backs in zip ties. While the group was reportedly demasked before being placed in the police van, we can't see their faces in the video. But we did get some intel on what the charges are and the organization that they're tied to. Those 31 individuals have been arrested for conspiracy to riot. At this point, they appear to be affiliated with the group Patriot Front. Who are the Patriot Front? According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, Patriot Front is a white nationalist hate group that broke off from Vanguard America in the aftermath of the deadly Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia of August 12, 2017. Patriot Front effectively has been around for a bit, but they rebranded after that Charlottesville rally, which, as you may recall, resulted in several deaths and uh, also former President Donald Trump acknowledging fine people on both sides. Despite the lack of information, at this point, it does seem social media was able to identify at least one of the arrestees, although it's not necessarily clear whether that individual was hauled up in the U-Haul with everyone else or if they came on their own. Oh, come on, man. They arrested Wild Bill. This arrestee goes by the name of Wild Bill, a white nationalist and happens to be the founder of Patriot Front, born Thomas Ryan Rousseau. How did law enforcement thwart this plan? Here are the deets per the Coeur d'Alene Chief of Police. At approximately 1.38 this afternoon, we received a telephone call from a concerned citizen who reported that Approximately 20 people jumped into a U-Haul wearing masks. They had shields and, quote, looked like a little army. They had shields, shin guards, um, and other riot gear with them, including uh, at least one smoke grenade. But at least as it concerns the media conversation, there appears to be some questions about whether the police had an informant on the inside. Police, uh, member of the police department, told some of their that the department has informants inside Patriot Front who told them they were loading up in the back of the U-Haul with weapons. Can you confirm or deny anything around that? No, I can't. I, I would tell you that's not how we got this information at all. It came from a, just one concerned citizen. It did not come from an informant inside any organization. Do you know what the original stop was for? For that. But how did you know? How did you know that they we have informants Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You guys are doing good. There's a group that's out here. There's somebody inside that group. Let's look at all this. All right. So foremost, it's truly a privilege that these men were handcuffed with their face covered. That's white privilege at work as far as I'm concerned. Why did they get to conceal their identities, uh, especially when they were out in the public is beyond me. Likewise, they're also facing mere conspiracy to riot charges. It's a misdemeanor in Idaho, meaning it carries less than a year in jail and it allows them to possibly get off with probation. And these men were not being passive counter protesters to pride, mind you. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought tactical gear. And, and at what point are we really going to fully appreciate that the vast majority of the time law enforcement is here to protect the status quo, to keep the marginalized marginalized? And so you do have to wonder, hey, is there a reason that these members of Patriot Front aren't being treated like the terrorist organization that they are? Because I'm sure if they came from a different group uh, that wasn't about white national and domestic terrorism, maybe law enforcement would have been more likely to expose their faces or would have hit them with charges, charges that were far more severe and worthy of their behavior. But that's just me. What do you think?
You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button and thanks for watching.